this video will explain to you the basic function of the bridge rectifier I am using a 15 volts EC source this one 15 volts EC is feed to the bridge rectifier point A and point B and also I will show to you the waveforms please take note that the bridge rectifier or a rectifier itself is a device that converts the AC voltage into DC voltage so in this part I will tell you on how the bridge rectifier respond to the AC voltage okay now we will start the actual uh, explanation these two words is the input to the bridge rectifier which is 15 volts this one is to point A here and the other one is to point B and the output at the bridge rectifier is this one the point Q and the point P please take note that a bridge rectifier will convert AC voltage to DC voltage so now the output of this and this is already DC and I will show it to you through the oscilloscope I will show to you the waveform of this input AC voltage and here is it my oscilloscope I set my oscilloscope into AC coupling and I will use the channel 1 to test our component now I'm going to connect the probe this is the probe of our oscilloscope the first thing is I will connect this probe to here this is the AC input and the other one is to connect connect to the other point okay this is now the connection And you can see in the oscilloscope that is a sinusoidal wave. I will raise it to the middle, and you can see clearly. Here is it. I set the voltage division to 10 volts this one this is 10 volts per division and for you to be able to see the waveform properly I want to adjust the figure like this to catch the waveform here is it now I confirm that the frequency of the input voltage is 
60 hertz that's correct because our AC line have 60 hertz frequency and we have the maximum voltage is 14.8 or 15 volts AC this is just to show to you that the input of the voltage rectifier is AC now we will proceed to the output of the bolt of the bridge rectifier I think it is not necessary to elaborate my explanation about the oscilloscope because my topic is about bridge rectifier and now we will proceed to the examination of the output of the rectifier we will go back to the diagram so we will proceed the examination of this point plus and uh, minus and I put some uh, load resistor here so I will connect the oscilloscope to this point and this point and you will see the actual waveform now I will start to connect the probe so since this is our positive it is running over here and here and this is our load resistor and the negative side of the bridge rectifier is going through here and here up to the load resistor now I will put this probe this is positive and this is negative side and take note that I set my coupling to DC before it was AC because we measure the AC voltage now I change it to DC coupling because I will measure a DC voltage switch here this is the positive side and the other one is to negative side switch here I have this uh, terminal and now you can see so this is the actual output of the bridge rectifier which is correct and I set the voltage division to 10 volts per division this one DC and as you can see even if the output is already DC but still there is a frequency why? because the output of the rectifier is a pulsating DC this is a pulsating DC pulsating DC means there is an amplitude I will hold this again to cast the waveform an amplitude is present and that is why we call it as pulsating DC and it's very obvious because if you have uh, amplitude 
also you have a frequency and you have a time this pulsating DC is not a perfect DC so we have to eliminate this amplitude this pulsating DC to make it a direct DC perfect and how to eliminate this pulsating DC I will show you go back again to the diagram so we are at this point now and the output of this is pulsating DC right so in order to eliminate this pulse we have to connect a filter and what is that filter so we will put a capacitor in parallel to the load resistor like that once you have this filter it means the amplitude will be filtered and when you connect the oscilloscope here we can see a perfect DC straight like that and I will show you it on the actual process this is my capacitor uh, the value is uh, 1000 volts uh, 1000 microfarad and 35 volts so I will install this into the circuit like this The positive of the capacitor is to the positive terminal. Like this. So like that. I put this in parallel of this resistor. So I have it. And now I will show you the waveform of the oscilloscope. Okay. And as you can see, that is a perfect DC. No frequency, no period. Right? And I set the voltage division to 10 volts per division. Now I change the voltage per division from 10 volts to 5 volts. This is 14 volts. This is the output of our rectifier. Okay. So I hope you enjoy the video and you learn something. And what is the function of the bridge certifier, how it works, and the most important is we have seen the actual waveform with this circuit.